All right, so they're going right into it, but unfortunately, my ride is leaving. So oh, I must GG. depart Thanks at the moment. Commenting. But where, yeah. Where can the people follow you? Is something, et cetera? Uh, uh, just find me on Facebook. <laughs> just friend him on Facebook. Dude. His name's Evan. My name... What is it? Fuck Corcoran. Corcoran? Corcoran? I was yeah. going to say Cochran, but that sounds yeah. too much like... Peanut, on the... <laughs> oh my god. Wait, that was they, good. They went I need to right get out of here. It. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. I'll talk into no. both microphones. Look at a but creepy yeah. Evco. Oh Definitely. my god. <laughs> Do I Vincent stock <laughs> evaporated? All right. Or sorry, G Buddy stock evaporated, and then Vincent stock evaporated right back. All right. Sorry, stream. It's okay. Love you guys. Go. I gotta go. All right. Go. Yeah, my right's trying to leave. Definitely. All right. So we've got the last bastion of Philadelphia hope, Vincent. Alumni of the University of Pennsylvania, and and he's back in Philadelphia again. Oh, he pulled the stitch face. He, he just threw it. Didn't realize it. This is a matchup that's very hard for Peach in general, but Vincent is super confident in it, which might be in part because uh, he used to play another Penn student by the name of Spencer Nicholas Ten Twenty Four so often, um, who is a very skilled Marth. And it might just be because Vincent is sick at this game. Actually, it might be kind of some of the brawl stuff. This is a very a matchup that requires a lot of patience in how you approach. And Vincent was a uh, champion brawl player. Let's just say all of those factors combined. Vincent, this is like one of his premier matchups. Wow, wave dash forward smash G money up a stock. Low percent or uh, close on percent though. Back air? That should that should uh do it. Gets up, nice. Regular get up, down smash, keep it going. That's it. He pulled another stitch face. Wow. There there there's not much time left in that. A, st uh, a turnip can only be in the air for two and a half seconds. Um, so this maybe has one throw left in it. Okay, got it right on shield. Unfortunate that he couldn't regrab. Oh, see how he won neutral? He baited out that forward smash so smart. This guy is so patient. He should play He should play Brawl. I bet his DI is amazing too. It is. Spoilers. Okay. He needs to be DI DIing those away. That's the second caught, second time he got caught by the Ken combo. And that ain't Ken. This is G Money. G Money maybe... Had to go through the longest trip to get here today. Got here early in time for doubles. Probably woke up at 7 o'clock this morning. His whole day has led up to this set, and he he does not want to go out in fourth place. He wants he wants to be on that podium for sure. And that that's just a start. He wants he wants the gold. Oh, up the out of shield. Nice. Vincent just barely living. I don't think he was ready for that, so no DI. Oh, grabs the wrong way. So this is actually not the worst situation for Peach because Marth has no reliable kill setups uh, at this percent. Um, this is like, this. well, an up tilt will take it. But being at like 130, 140 versus Marth is kind of like having a fresh stock uh, in, in how hard you are to kill. Wow, the venue is super emptying out. Only a few sets left to play. Loser semis, which is this. Uh, pay no attention to the top of the screen. This is loser semis. And then after that, we'll have winner's finals between DJ Nintendo and and uh, Hat, the chic player from MDVA. And after that, we'll have loser's finals and grands. Very patient by both players. G Money. G Money has shown that he's content to uh, control space from the top platform, not going down with down airs, but threatening the fact that he can do that, um, which is even more potent. Okay, chain grabs. He's not DIing onto the platform, and Vincent just throws him off. Can he get the? He gets the hard read on on G Money going for the ledge. 
We got power shield. Okay, we're living. Interesting that he went here, and maybe he uh doesn't want to face. Hmm. Yeah, actually, no. I I agree with this pick. I was gonna be like, hmm, should he have gone to Fountain of Dreams instead? But no, this is this is the place. G Money already getting a uh, FD out of the way with Marth. Or I'm 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 sorry. I'm with the threat of Marth. <laughs> sorry, the ideas are starting to come out of my head half half formed. The the fact that his Marth is so good. So, do we expect him to play all Marth except for when counterpick to Dreamland? That that certainly does make sense, especially with a uh, just general matchup. Uh, impressions general matchup knowledge people say peach falco unwinnable for falco marth peach unwinnable for peach that might be the look that we're seeing here this might be the only game that we see g money's falco unless of course uh if g money wins vincent might take decide to take it back to the same stage a second time oh doesn't get the down air g, G money going straight up good recovery Oh. So very nice DI Vincent not allowing himself to be pillared by shines. Um, hopefully we uh, can see that that uh, DI continue throughout the whole set. Uh, once you're getting laddered by oh no no DI on that one, but G Money wasn't ready. He was uh, doing option coverage for if the shine uh, hit shield or missed. Oh, he hits a laser. Oh. Aim's getting better. <laughs> laser, laser, four tilt. Okay. Th this is uh, that that that's uh like really old school play. And G Money is a really old school player, so of course no surprise. Most Falcos would not deign to forward tilt, but G Money says whatever works. This is a, a really good tool in spacing right now. And nice shine there, shine there, shine there pressure. Vincent takes a stock, but he's down 143%. One hit away. There it is. From being down a full stock. G-Money. Oh, laser reset. Too far away to do anything about it. Okay, nice DI. Alright. Okay, so... Vincent needs to realize that that unlike when he was playing uh, Bones, it's not likely that G Money is going to um, jump into those down smashes and throwing them out. Kind of uh, smells of desperation. Uh, it's really hard to work around a Falco of this not 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 just this caliber, but this level and depth of experience. G Money G Money has faced so many players in his in his Smash melee career. I, I think he's beyond falling for, for tricks like that. Maybe on Fountain of Dreams, though. On Fountain of Dreams, sometimes it feels like there's nothing you can do. Very nice spacing by G-Money, aiming for the back of Vincent's shield, where it's unpunishable. Peach could nair out of shield, but I do not believe that in that situation it would have been fast enough and would have just gotten hit by uh, whatever the next aerial G-Money threw out was. Okay, we're getting chain grabbed again. Is he going to DI onto the platform? This time he does. Tech's left. Tricks, tricks Vincent. Vincent, like with, with the nair that he went through, it covered uh, tech in place or miss tech with the hard nair and then tech right with the soft nair. So he just went for the, the most coverage instead of a read. Okay, the turn of pits. Oh, he could get this. Oh, gets the tech. He goes for a down smash instead of a back air. Back air, if DI'd could have, I guess he could have uh, smashed DI'd and then air dodged back on. So I guess down smash makes the most sense. G Money trying to equalize. Vincent pick, has picked up a little bit of a lead right now. Oh, nice snare. That could make it too. Oh, no. 
Vincent's struggling a little bit with edge guards today, and uh, I sympathize with him because I struggled with edge guards a little bit today too. A little bit more, seeing as he's in top six and I am, or top four, sorry, and I am not. Nice nair. Okay. It's even, but 78%, pretty much kill percent for a lot of Vincent's openings. A grab uh, will be a couple of up throws into either a forward throw or nair. Okay, goes for the platform. Vincent, because he was in his float, was telling G-Money, if you go for a platform, there's nothing I can do. G-Money said, why, thank you. I think I'll go for a platform. So, uh, something to think about. Don't telegraph that you want to float at, at floor height until after they've already had to make up their mind. It's kind of like it's kind of like when you're doing rock, paper, scissors, holding out scissors the whole time and then choosing scissors. You don't have to telegraph. Double shine. G Money has has recuperated his entire percent deficit. He was down 78 to zero, and it's now okay. Now even on percent. Nice. He he doesn't get exactly the DI he wanted that on that. Goes straight up into into Peach's nair for the kill. Vincent really being locked down by these lasers. Oh, gets the power shield on a laser, but. Uh, Shine or a uh, reflector. Sorry, forgot that's what we called it when it's being used to reflect projectiles. This is this must be frustrating for Vincent. It's so hard to you feel locked down and locked in your shield, and you know you shouldn't be in your shield. Okay, uh, I think G Money's a pretty happy to trade with down air three percent for a stock. Uh, we take those, yeah, let's take that. Does anyone want to? There, there's four. There's literally four people next to me, and not one of them wants a microphone. Okay, Vincent gets the grab. Uh oh, this could be dangerous for G Money. Vincent not going for the most aggressive of edge guards though. Joining me, I've got Cody, the Code Master himself. Howdy, folks. Cody sucks. Shut up. I, I did play Cody in friendlies earlier, and I can neither confirm nor deny that Cody sucks, although you can watch the bots. <laughs> Judge for yourself. I believe we played a Kirby Ganon match, and I forget how that went. Do you uh, remember? It was, it was just a two stock, no biggie. <laughs> no biggie? No biggie. If there's time, I'll have to challenge you one more time tonight. Uh, I think I think we're done after this. I think uh, all of our rides are angrily looking at us to, for the tournament to end. I guess, I mean, this is what happens when you play round robin. Yeah. The tournament goes a little bit longer. I think if we had done top two out of round robin, it might might be have gone a little smoother. Yeah, but it's, it's not even 7.30 yet. And we, oh, we, yeah. We have three games left, and that's it. I don't know why everybody left. Like, it's still early, dude. Stay and play friendlies. I, I don't know. And we're not even, like, packing up, really, so... What are you, sick way. of Smash? <laughs> I'm sorry. Did you come to a Smash tournament? Did you drive over an hour to come to a Smash tournament? And then at, like, 6 o'clock, you're like... Uh, let's go home. Yeah. <laughs> I want to watch Judge Judy. <laughs> Judge Judy of all shit. Ooh. I can't believe that tournament didn't hit. Okay. so close. So Vincent on his clinging to life. He's at 113%. But, yeah, but Falco is one down mash away from death percents. Gets the oh. back air. Strong hit. No DI. That's it. And G Money Takes mounts the podium and sends Vincent off in fourth place. Yeah. Next, um, I think it's it's Hat and DJ. 